Hey everybody. So I know you guys have heard about this diet that we're on, but it's an autoimmune protocol. It's for Steve autoimmune that he's doing it, and I'm doing it with him and we both lost weight. So I've been wearing, well, stretch pants all of COVID. And I haven't really cared because I work from home. So I had jury duty <laughs> in December and um, I went to go put on pants, like real pants, like jeans, and none of my pants fit, none. So I decided to buy some buttons. I got called, I didn't get called in jury duty. I got postponed every time. So I served, but <clears throat> I didn't have to, to do it. But I got these buttons um, on Amazon. I didn't even know they made these, but I was like, how do I salvage some of my pants? So I didn't put any of them on there because I never had to go into court. But so I was like, how am I going to salvage some of these pants? Because I mean, I'll show you my worst pair. They were baggy on me before, but they're ridiculous now. So I'm going to try to fix these buttons on some of my existing jeans and at least salvage them because I don't like shopping. I don't go shopping. The only time I go is if my best friend Erica comes to town and she's all pies. <laughs> play with a squeaky toy um anyway when she comes to town that's when we go shopping and she forces me to try things on and I will buy stuff and then I have my clothes for the year same with Steve I'll get stuff up on Amazon but never jeans or anything because they're too hard to fit oh she's so cute oh my goodness she is so cute okay I think she's gonna bring me every toy what you got? So you have to play with a toy on a toy. That's the, the most optimum way of playing with a toy. Toy on toy. Let me show you my, my pants. Dilemma. <laughs> these little babies aren't gonna cut it. But these were big before, but these ones are just, it's just too much, too much. If I pull them up, there's nothing I can do about them. Even if I put a button on them, they're just too, too gigantic, too gigantic. So, which is great. I'm glad about that, I don't mind. But it's not good for, for actually wearing these. And once you know how the pants are, once they get warmed up, they just stretch out and get lower and lower and awful. So let me show you a pair that I am gonna try to fix. So these, you've seen me wear these like 500 times because I've got several pairs of them. And they're fine, they fit fine, they're fine. But as you move around all day, they do stretch out and get lower and lower and then they are gross. So what I wanna fix is this gap here or the gap back here. And I think if I put a button on it, normally what Steve and I do is we'll take an elastic hair tie, tie it around here, tie it around this button. And this is something you guys can do. Let me go grab one so I can show you. Okay, I saw this trick from a friend of mine who was pregnant at my last job and she needed the opposite. She just needed a couple more inches in her, or an inch or whatever, in her regular pants, just for that baby belly so it wasn't tight on there. And she got to salvage and not have to wear her maternity clothes for quite a while from it. So anyway, you take an elastic hair tie and on hers, she tied it, I think it was this loop to this. So she tied it to stretch it out she went like this to this. So she was able to stretch it around and it was fine. So on mine, and what Steve and I have been doing for years, is we'll take our loop over here, thread it through, and then you wrap it around your little button. And then it just makes it a little bit you don't totally see it, but it elastics your pants a little bit more to where it's a little bit, you know, tighter. And that works, but there's, these are still too big. I just washed them in hot and I never ever have washed my jeans in hot. I always just wash them in cold, hang them to dry, but they're too big. Um, I wore them the other day and they just were going low. So I'm like, it's time for me to do this video with the button and we'll see if I can get it to work. So if I can move this button way over here, put a button way over here, it's gonna look a little bit crooked, but my shirt's usually over it anyway. But it's gonna make it way tighter back here, way tighter here, just better overall. That's what my goal is. So if I can add another 
inch or two even almost, get it way over here or put, you know, I can do that, then I could save some of my old pants and at least have a couple pairs of jeans to wear and make sure I wear a long enough shirt that you don't see that. And I don't actually care if you do. Um, I've cut like this out before in pants because I have a big butt and a smaller waist. So I usually have the problem where it gaps right here, you know, um, but I've cut this before and sewed these tighter like this, like this, essentially. And it always looks weird. It always never, it can't ever get my brown, the same brown as on there. It just always looks hokey. It's better to hide it in the front, I think. I've also put elastic bands in some of my <laughs> pants too and tucked them inside in here and put weaved elastic from the inside all the way around. These jeans actually are stretch jeans. They have a stretchy band in them anyway, so it's kind of nice, but still, it's still too loose. I hope the button I bought is the right button size because if it's too loose, it might just pop out. Anyway, I never have seen these, didn't know these existed, and all it is is a button. That's not bad looking. With a screw. So it's not permanent even. All you're doing is popping a screw in there in the back of your pants and scooting that thing over. So you could do it both ways. You could go wider or you just have this button here that you would see, um, or you can go all the way over here if you want. That would be ideal in these right now, but it looks kind of weird, huh? Um, but I don't know, I'm okay with it. I just want to salvage them if I can. And I could always take it out. I'm gonna go maybe to here in these. I'm so excited that this exists. Okay, we'll go about here. I'm just pushing it through. I'm not even gonna, I think it came with like a, <laughs> good job, buddy. It came with a thing to, um, to poke a hole, but it just screwed in there so easy. Am I screwing or popping? Okay, let's see. Is it screwing? I think I just pop it in there. Or do I screw it? I guess I should read instructions. Great. Are there any instructions? No. Is it threaded or do I just pop it on there? Oh, I think I pop it. It's not threaded. Oh. I can't pop it. Maybe I need a mallet. <laughs> but he's all concerned because I'm grun grunting. <clears throat> oh, I might have gotten one in. <clears throat> I don't want to get a mallet out. Well, first let me try this and see if this is awful. totally crooked but oh these are way better they're holding up back here they're keeping my butt up because these pants were riding so low they were coming I could go to the bathroom and do everything with them on without unbuttoning them so over here even though it's not so cute that's the way to go so I need to just get this on there better ready I think I got one ring one on there all right, I'm gonna have to get a mallet. Anyway, we get the picture, right? I just saved myself a pair of pants. There, there is my 17 bucks or whatever it is from TJ Maxx or Marshalls or wherever I have bought my jeans from whenever Erica comes to town. They feel fine. They look fine, <laughs> don't they? Because they look stupid. I mean, normally I've got a shirt on. This one's kind of low, but does that look totally stupid if I'm walking around like that? It's a quick fix. Hmm. To go to the bathroom and stuff, I can still do it, but look how much I just added. I could scoot it over and it wouldn't look as weird right here at all. Way over here, it's a little bit extreme. These are definitely too big here and too big here. These can go really far, and that might be too, more than I need. I'll just go over here somewhere. That's probably better. I just need an inch or two. So, little pop-on. These were cheap, too. I'll put a link in there for them. 
and I'll tell you which size I got. They had two different sizes, a bigger one and a smaller one. I got the smaller one because I think I grabbed these pants and I measured the width of this button. I didn't know that some of my jeans had a big button, but I think this is the standard width of a button. Okay, so over about there, that tightens it up. Still a little big back here, but that's okay. At least it keeps my butt up. And go about here. Hook it through. Ooh, that one I kind of felt snap. Well, before I get too crazy with it, let's just check. I think one, one ring is on there, or one rung. So that's fine, huh? One over, nobody's gonna see it, and I've just saved myself some pants. So anyway, yay, I got my little set of buttons. They're totally gonna work. I will take a mallet and gently mallet them down a little bit um, on a rubber mat or a rug or something and get my jeans on and fixed. And that was so simple. You guys could totally do this yourself. If you need to add a little bit, check out your pants. See if you can add a little bit to it. Or if you can, you know, take off a little bit and just save yourself some money. Cause I don't want to buy new pants um, until I have to. Something like a bra, I've had to downsize that. But the pants, I'm wearing stretch pants all day. I'm gonna salvage my jeans and I'll donate the huge ones. I do think I'll probably get some pants next time Erica comes to town. And um, I'll get several pairs and then I'll be fine. But till then, I've got buttons. Is that in there all the way? Yeah. It's on. Oh, it's on good. Hey, honey. Yeah. I'm going to need some brute strength in here. Let's see if you can do this. It's not a screw, it's a pop-on. I know, it's just it's gotta be right I, in it. I thought I stepped on her. So you just push it on there and push it real tight. I did it on these, I just wanna see if you can do it. Oh, well, you've done it, now you wanna see if I can do it. That's, <laughs> Here, that's not see if you can do nice, it. actually. So if you look at the pin. Hey, I did it. Let's see if Steve can do it. It's got three rungs. Bang, bang, bang. Mm -hmm. It's like a screw that's, yeah, but it doesn't have it as a crunch hole thread. <sighs> okay, I'm just snapping this on. There's mm -hmm. no trick, right? No, but get in there close so they can see you. Okay, I feel like you're doing some kind of trick on well, me. Well, they're too close now. I can move back. I know, but they want to see your face. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna set this on here. Then I'm gonna use all my finger strength as well as meditation. And go. <laughs> Hold on. Cause I've got I've got Did grip you get strength. It off? Oh my goodness, this is a joke. Don't pop your linguini. I'm not gonna pop the linguini. I do bar hangs every day to build my grip strength. That's is... why I could only do one button. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're doing a joke on me, but I'm going to get it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah, that's going to do it. If that does <clears throat> it, that's impressive. I tried stepping on it. It was too pointy. Like, it was just too pointy. <sighs> No. <laughs> Wouldn't do that. I need something. I need two thumbs versus. You've got two. Versus thumb and. You have two thumbs. Thumb. I know, but. Want to use one of my thumbs? They're not used to being used like this. Mm. Oh, you know what I do? What? This will help with the pain factor. Oh, okay. Is I set double them. up the jean. I'm covering the back part that I'm uh -huh. going to be pressing. Then I'm going to use this on that side. Create leverage. Oh, nice. Then. Idea. I'm going to just go for my, <laughs> this is, this is a joke. Wow. It's well worth it though. If you can save a pair of pants to, to use for a little more time. Okay. Come on. Yeah. <sighs> you know it can be done. 
Come on, you can do it. Hurry. I did one, but my fingers You got it all down. the way? Oh, it's on there, good. Now you really put me in the spot. Did you use fingers or hands? Was there, was there a trick? There was a little trick. So far, you've, you've got it on at least one rung, right? <laughs> 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 Come on. Here's a little trick I used. <laughs> well, here's how far I got it on. You got it on pretty good. Okay, so there was a trick. Yeah, I, I had to revert to look it. At, look at I that. did that by myself. Look at too. that. It wasn't good. That's permanent. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, yeah, it's still wobbly on there. Thanks, well, yeah, I couldn't get all the way on. Thanks for trying. It's on there, I think. And done. Sweet. And it's not hideous. Like, this is a cuter button, but not hideous. They had some that were like a star pattern and stuff. I just figured this looked more like a real jean versus like a star pattern. It might just look like a homemade dealie. But that looks like, totally looks like regular jeans. Not ghetto at all, huh? Sweet. Okay. I've got new jeans. Thanks for joining me. I hope you guys can fix some of your pants too. If you have ideas like um, this, the hack, that would be great for people to know. So put comments in the comments and um, I will link to the buttons. Enjoy your life. See you later.